high speed students, we are finally in week five where you will be delivering your very first speech. And we are coming upon uh, a holiday weekend. So hopefully you can get your speech uh, recorded, submitted by Thursday at midnight, and then get some feedback to peers by no later than Sunday, which means that hopefully you get to enjoy that 4th of July holiday with family and friends if you have it off. And remember, we don't have classes at all Monday or Tuesday of the following week. So you get a little bit of a break built in here. Uh, I wanted to just pull up what we're doing this week. It is mostly focusing on the speech. And uh, again, encouraging you to keep practicing. And the more you practice, the more you do get that solidified, ingrained into your brain, and the less you need to rely on those speaking notes. You are then um, recording your speech and you will be uploading that speech to the discussion board. And when it's in the discussion board, it's viewable to all of your peers and to me. And uh, you can either attach the video within the discussion board, post a link to, let's say you have a, uh, a YouTube link or a Zoom link. Um, all of those options work. Just do test your links and your videos once you post them to ensure that they, they do run for you because I know sometimes that can be an issue. You are then going to pick a couple peers to watch their videos. There are approximately 50 students in these two combined sections of speech. So obviously you do not have to watch all of them, although I will be watching all of them. Uh, pick a couple that you can watch and give some feedback on. And there is a peer review form there for you just to have some things to look for as you watch your peers. You know, you're looking for both content and presentation. Um, did the content make sense? Was it interesting? Was it presented well? Uh, did they engage you as a listener? And uh, did it flow well? Was there sufficient evidence? Did they cite their sources? So those are the things that you're going to look for. In addition to posting your video, you are also posting on Blackboard your final outline or draft of your speech for me to look at. This is how I can see that you have all the necessary components of your speech. So your introduction starts with an attention getter. It builds context or it builds context or background. You relate to your audience, possibly. You state your thesis. You move to your main two to three points. Each of those main points has a couple of supporting details or examples or stories. And then your conclusion rounds everything out, restates your thesis and main points, and leaves us with the feeling of finality. I'm also looking for your sources. So I'm looking for you to have orally attributed or cited your sources verbally. And I'm looking for that bibliography of your full of sources at the bottom of your outline uh, or your draft. So that means author, title, publication, date, et cetera. And I've linked in last week's folder um, some resources that you might find helpful, including the Online Writing Lab at Purdue or our Learning Commons with Learning Tutors, the Zoom Room, Online Writing Center, uh, general MLA formatting websites online, EasyBib. Those are all references to how to cite your sources. After you have done that, you get a little bit of a, a reprieve, let's say, from thinking too much about speech. But you can start to look at your persuasive speech, which is your second of three speeches. And this is the one that you will either need to arrange to deliver in, in front of people or you can arrange to schedule a Zoom presentation with me and some of your classmates. And that's coming up in the, I believe, early part of August. And I do have a link in, I wanna say week seven, seven or eight for signing up for those dates. I think I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of that first weekend in August. Let me do a quick check. That sounds right. And uh, so take a look at that assignment sheet. And if you do plan to present in front of people, start thinking about who those people would be. You want reliable people who will show up and not skip out on you at the last minute because that causes issues and you want to be able to actually present to people. You also, when you do that option, need to think about how you're going to film. You need to show your audience and show that you're presenting to them. So if those things stress you out, just sign up for a time with me and um, it'll be, I promise you, easy clicking a Zoom link and presenting that way. Um, so you do have three speeches in this class. The final one is a tribute speech. It's shorter. It is one that you can read from a manuscript. So we don't spend as many weeks on that speech and we kind of barrel towards the end of the term together. Uh, we do get done with this class and I believe the third week of August. So uh, congratulations on speech uh, one. 
be thinking about a persuasive topic you'd like to tackle for speech two. And as always, if you have questions about anything, just drop me an email. Take care.